Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix EA Sports FC 26 slow-mo gameplay and input delay issues on your PC. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Now, there's a few different fixes we can try, so I'm going to run down these one by one. So, we need to go ahead and update GPU drivers. This could be NVIDIA AMD Intel to the latest official releases for your GPU. So, the best way to do this is to go to search, type in device manager, click on the device manager. You should get a little pop-up that looks like this. And then from here, we've got display adapters. Go ahead and click on the little arrow. And now right click on your display adapter and go ahead and click on update and then click on search automatically for drivers and make sure you've got the latest updates available. Now also on search, type in settings, go into system settings, go to windows update and make sure windows update is up to date. So if you're up to date, it should have a green tick with today's date and the time. We can also check for updates and basically make sure we've got the latest window updates. Now another fix what we can do is set Windows power and performance settings. So basically click on the search, type in settings, and then we need to go ahead and click on to power and battery. So the quickest way to do this is click, go to search then click on power, sleep and battery settings. Then from here, go ahead and click on to power mode. And now we've got um, here balanced and balanced. But I suggest putting these to your best performance of both of these, best performance and best performance. Okay, so once we've done that, click out of that. Now the next fix we can try is open up Steam. If you are running in Steam, go to library and we'll need to verify your game files. So for example, just going to use this game for example, just basically right click onto FC, click onto properties, click onto install files and click on verify integrity of game files and let that run its course. Now, if you've got any overlays and background hooks, just go ahead and disable any overlays as well. 